What's up guys, He King here bringing you some uh, discussion preview news related to Resident Evil 8. So yeah, if you guys know, there was a hacking incident recently with Capcom where a bunch of hackers stole a bunch of information and that information got leaked basically. You know, the hackers, I think, yeah, they, they leaked it. You know, the demands weren't meant and uh, yeah, they did, they did what they said they were going to do. And from those leaks, a bunch of Resident Evil 8 information came out with a bunch of other stuff, but uh, I'm, I don't really care about that, so I'm only focusing on the Resident Evil related stuff. So yeah, um, uh, how much of this is true, I don't know. Things could change, so do keep that in mind. But yeah, the first thing we have is, is the fact that uh, apparently the release date is going to be late April 2021. So yeah, that's... I don't think that's surprising. I think a lot of people guessed that this game was likely going to come out in April 2021. 20, like Resident Evil 3, you know, that came out in April as well. So, a lot like uh, this year. So, I imagine, yeah, that's the case. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, and apparently uh, we've got... Um, I don't know how to really work this. I'm looking at the image here. I know you guys are probably looking at it as well. And, yeah, uh, apparently there's a PS4 version announced as well. Uh, uh, it does say PS4 version has not been announced yet. Announced at TGS as understudy. Capcom did say, you know, uh, early leaks. If you guys remember, Dos Gollum did leak that this game was originally supposed to come out for PS4 as well. It was supposed to be a cross-gen uh, title. But at some point, the development stopped and they started focusing on the PS5. But apparently, there were problems with this game on the PS5. And now Capcom's heads were like, you know, let's let you know go back and make this game for the PS4, uh, just in case. So yeah, apparent, apparently the, that that might be a case. We might be getting a PS4 version. Uh, if they're gonna announce it, they're gonna have to properly announce it sometime soon. Uh, the Game Awards, I think there's a Game Awards, uh, what uh, next month, I believe. So uh, we 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 should be getting another trailer, and I, I believe a release date trailer then. Though the leak and this hack might have put a dump on things so that might not actually happen we don't know we we'll have to wait and see um trying to see if there's anything else uh, we do have images here and like uh there's dlc there's, there's there's dlc stuff planned obviously like always there's dlc but apparently there's some major dlc stuff we've got a collector's edition and there's a statue of chris there which looks freaking awesome uh i want that i want that but obviously i'm not getting this game day one or i might get it day one and just keep it until i get a ps5 i don't, I don't know like uh, it depends if this comes on ps4 i'll get it on ps4 and hopefully to god it actually works on ps4 okay <laughs> You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'd be disappointed if I end up getting a cross-gen title and it just, it, it's just not done as well on that console than, than the next one. But apparently, it's not doing, it's not, it's not going. From development standpoint, it wasn't doing well on on the PS5 anyway. So maybe, maybe this would be a game that, that's actually better on current gen consoles. I don't know, current gen, <laughs> current gen. We're, we're, we're done with current gen, last gen, last gen. <laughs> uh, then we got some other stuff here. Um, I don't know what this image is, I don't know, I can't read Japanese, I think this might be the price of the game, whatever, when it's coming out for Pacific consoles or not. Uh, it, uh, from from the image here, you got an image of like a cache of weapons, and we can see the kind of weapons you're going to have in this. Uh, I can see a grenade launcher on the top, followed by a sniper rifle, and then at the bottom we've got obviously a shotgun, a magnum, and uh, a submachine gun. And in the above image here, you know, you've got the character holding handgun, basically. So, yeah, uh, it looks like these might this might be a little miniature cashier with the weapons inside. That's kind of cool. I, I wouldn't mind having something like that. That's kind of cool. And you've got a little goat there and a coin and some medicine. Uh, whatever, but at, this, at least this confirms the kind of weapons we're going to have. Um, I think we pretty much had all of these weapons in, in the previous game, didn't we? Um, did we have a Magnum in the previous game? Hmm. We didn't, did we? I don't. I don't remember if we had a, if we if we if we had a Magnum in the previous game or not. We didn't have a sniper rifle, so that's new. That's definitely new. So that's that's new added into this game for sure. Um, let's look at the other image. Now this one's interesting. Uh, this one's called the benefits backup. I don't get what this means. Benefits backup plan status quo. So the extra DLC pack. Uh, this one's a bit weird. The extra DLC pack. Uh, Ethan's trauma pack. Twenty five US dollars. So wow. Uh, what the hell is this? Like, they're already working on DLC for this game, and they're gonna make people pay this much for it? Like, Jesus. So you, you get, like, the Albert uh, Chris Custom Weapon, I think, for $3. Some found footage, screen filter. I don't I don't know why anyone would want that kind of thing. Uh, Resident Evil 7 save points plus safe room BGM. Go till unroady $3. So I'm thinking this is the Resident Evil 7 soundtracks. 
and, and the safe themes so you can buy those and use those in the game properly. That's a, that's a bit weird. Weapon accessory, Mr. Everywhere for initial handgun, uh, $2.5 uh, dollars, uh, very hard difficulty level, very hard initial release so again you can pay for, I don't know why people will pay for this stuff, this is insane. And then you've got stuff like Backup Plan, Constellation Plan, Digital Art Book, Ethan Strategy, Tentative Title, uh, Bio 7 Touch Setting, I don't know, maybe there's bonus stuff. And then you've got pre-order benefits um, for all SKUs, both disc and digital, one type of rarity accessory, Mr. Raccoon for early shotgun, so PS Store pre-order bonus, uh, PS5, PS4, uh, Village Mini Soundtrack, so you can probably download the soundtrack, PS Store pre-order bonus, PS4 theme. They're clearly, they're clearly thinking about putting this on PS4, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's very likely we're going to get a PS4 version. I mean, if, if they got all of that stuff written up there. Uh, about Ethan's Trauma Pack, so this one, this one's the most interesting thing, because this is 25 US freaking, apparently it would be aiming at that price. Three years later, even now that he's uh, returned to a peaceful life, Ethan's nightmare isn't over. The events he experienced at the Baker Mansion were so extraordinary that it leaves an inextinguishable scar in the back of his mind. Visions of the past follow him everywhere, even in this case. Uh, Ethan has made a break with his ad, 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 ad bon mono past, and can you build a new future with your family? With the trauma of the previous film torments Ethan. Uh, theme, this is a bonus element pack worth $25. So I don't I don't get what this is. I think this is like, what, story DLC? Or is this something where, I'm, I'm wondering perhaps, because um, if you guys remember, the, the problems of the PS5 version were related to something involving hallucinations and loading times, I think, maybe? So, what if, what if this uh, trauma pack is basically uh, something that adds uh, PTS uh, horror elements to the game? So imagine you're playing the game as normal and you, 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 never, you, never, gain, you never get hallucinations or whatever, or, or very horrific elements, and then if you install this, for example, this will add PDS moments. So it's something like maybe Dead Space, like Dead Space basically with the hallucinations, except you know the normal version doesn't have that and, and, and the trauma pack would have that. I'm wondering if this is it, like like something extra that's just thrown into the game, like buy this and if you want something more horror, this will give you that. Like, I wonder if that's what this is. I'm, I'm curious, I could be very wrong here because I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this whole trauma thing is. I don't get it, but uh, whatever. And that's all the information really I found regarding Resident Evil 8. Uh, there is some other information as well. Apparently there is a multiplayer for this game. Apparently, maybe, I don't know. Uh, like a Battle Royale version for this game. So obviously Capcom is still thinking about doing a multiplayer for this. Even though uh, the Resistance multiplayer, I imagine, didn't do very well. Like, uh, I never played it. I don't care about the multiplayer for that game, okay? I don't care about multiplayer in general. Now, if it was free, maybe I would give a shit because I, I did play multiplayer back when I had the PS3, but uh, after after I got the PS4, I just stopped with it. You know, I'm not gonna pay money to, to play multiplayer with other people, and a lot of the games I have aren't even multiplayer, and really, I, like I said, I don't really care about the multiplayer when it comes to a Resident Evil game, and Resident Evil 3, Pretty much suffered by 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 have by having this focus on on the multiplayer that no one asked for and having to come into come in with, with with a single player game that should have had more focus than it did, and I'm getting very worried now that this might be the same case here where where they're focusing on on this game but then now they're like you know what focus on the multiplayer instead and they're gonna add this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is even part of Resident Evil 8 or if it's something separate, but it is worrying. And it's worrying because Capcom keeps trying to do this thing where they're trying to focus on something that has, that you know, every time they've tried to do it, hasn't worked, okay? A lot of people keep saying they want a remake of, of the Outbreak games or a sequel to Outbreak. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense to do that. You know, that, that was technically a multiplayer game. You know, if you could do a remake of that or a sequel to that, or, or, or remake Outbreak 1 and 2 and then do a sequel, Outbreak 3, and combine all of those Outbreak files together to make this big, massive single player slash uh, multiplayer game, I imagine that would sell really, really bloody well, but instead it's, it's, you know, it's this, like uh, a battle royale thing, like as if Resistance wasn't bad enough, as if Umbrella Corpse wasn't bad enough, and now they're doing something like that. So it's, it's very weird. And apparently there is some information regarding Resident Evil 4 as well, and that apparently is getting a VR. So that's weird. It's getting a VR treatment. It doesn't say if it's if it's the Resident Evil 4 remake. Okay, it just says Res RE4 VR. So I'm assuming it's Resident Evil 4, but uh, designed for for a VR experience. I, I don't know how that would work. You know, a first-person uh, 
you know, a view makes sense in VR, but a third person game with VR, like, I don't know, that's a bit, that's a bit weird. But hell, you, 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 we gotta release that RE4 port, why, why the hell not, right? Because, uh, which makes me think, if they're, if they're making a Resident Evil 4 remake, why would they bother with an RE4 VR mode? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't their focus be on the remake instead? Which, which is one of the reasons why I keep thinking all the rumors we've heard about an RE4 remake are false. And that people have gotten confused, have confused it with RE8, which is very similar to RE4 to begin with. So I'm wondering if all those rumors about an RE4 remake are just are just that rumors, and they're actually not true. Because honestly, it makes more sense to remake Call Veronica at this point than it does RE4. Like I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't personally. I don't want an RE4 remake. You know, if they're gonna reimagine RE4, and I mean reimagine it, then I would prefer it to be reimagined to the point where the entire game is different and the storyline's different, and there's more focus on being connected to the past games than it was because the original RE4 plot is stupid. Okay, compared to most RE games, that plot is beyond ridiculous, and I hate it. So gameplay is great, but I hate it. I, I hate that stupid plot, and yeah, I could do without it, and I could do with something that's a bit more traditional in the sense i don't know you know that's just my viewpoint but yeah um those are my those, that's all the crap i got for this game uh, i'm hoping that we do get an announcement for the ps4 version i'm hoping we get something next month at the game awards that apparently is happening so yeah fingers crossed guys fingers crossed but yeah it, it sucks it sucks for Capcom that this leaked but um hopefully they'll be able to sort this mess out anyway guys that's my preview for that i hope you enjoyed it as always like and subscribe whatever and i shall see you when i shall see you take care